Hello everyone, welcome back to Grind Session. I'm Insetic, with me again is Blackout the M&M. Hey everybody. Matt Rocks 101. Hey, I'm Matt. And Blank Tester. Mm -hmm, it's me. And today, we are heading to a familiar place. If you played Tony Hawk 1, we are heading to Burnside. Mm. And so oh, it turns sheesh. out, again, I didn't know this for the longest time, because I'm not really that into skating culture, but Burnside is a real place. Yeah. And it's just two different games. Uh, did their best to model it, and from what I've seen, both modeled it pretty well. Oh, Black Flag. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, kind of talking about, you know, the Tony Hawk 1 version. That game came out, like, just a year before I really got good gaming memories. So I know I played it, but I, like, I look at footage and it's just like, yeah, it looks familiar, but I, you know, I don't have any strong uh, remembrance of it. Yeah, Mike Tyson hates this game, scaring away the pigeons. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the Grind Session version really kind of could stand on its own accord with me, and... Yeah, I mean... Uh... Shit. <laughs> I mean, back in Tony Hawk, it was just a competition level, so you pretty much found something that worked and... You just did it. it. But yeah. in Grind Session, you know, you've got the tech lines, which make you explore the whole level. Yeah, that's a that's a good aspect of them, yeah. That's that's one thing I really, you know, want to point out. I point out in these kind of games, like, just areas that are underdeveloped or have no reason for you to go to them, but the tech lines really make sure you explore the whole level. Yeah. Which I think is a good idea, because, like you said, there's... I mean, there's some games where you can just find a half-pipe, and you don't need to go anywhere else. It's kind yeah, of... Did, yeah. <laughs> like, it, you, like, you do a lot worse if you try and go everywhere. So yeah, they design everything. a whole level and then make one area of the level basically OP. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was basically, like, as a kid, I just found a bowl or a half-pipe and just went back and forth in it. I was going to oh, say, yeah, I did went that for the Tony bowls and Burnside. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or the bars in Burnside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta hit those Hashtag bars. Bars and Bowls. It's my new uh, series where... I ride around trying to skate in some bowls, Look at that. and like then it, I just like get drunk. That's super cool, because it looks like you wouldn't even be able to go over that. It looked like a boundary, yeah. but he was crying right was over. A yeah, yeah, it's... This area, and then the area that was up above, uh, you know, these these aren't in the Tony Hawk version. Yeah. Tony yeah. Hawk, you're at the fence, and that's it. But yeah, here, you're expected to get kind of over to the supplemental areas. Though, I will say, I know... I, I don't really like the color scheme, just all the gray. Well, I mean, I that is that what it looks like in real life. It's just cement. <laughs> I get that's what it looks like in real life. It's all cement, but it's kind of off-putting mm. a little bit. Yeah, totally. Um, can I say it's a little... It's still kind of throwing me for a loop with, like, my first exposure to this... Like Break your I want to say like lineage of games was with their worst ones, the Razor <laughs> games, and so seeing this font and these kinds of menus on a good game is really <laughs> throwing me off. It's really weird. It is because it's like the game games. is good. Was this made and by the people that yeah. made? Uh, yeah, yes, on it the was. same engine. Wow. I. Well, I mean, like, I know, and and if I'd have thought about that, you know. Six years ago, by this almost by this point, was that tagline called Street Tranny Fight? I believe it was. Yes. Wow, Jesus, <laughs> progressive. Uh, yeah, I just I didn't think about that aspect of it. You know, I just kind of played what I had on hand and what I remember from a kid as a kid. And yeah, I played Razor Freestyle Scooter as a kid. I didn't play Grind Session as a kid. And that's sad. That's so sad because like. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, Little Insetic had just the worst time. <laughs> <laughs> worst, like, it's like, it's like if you, if you were meeting someone for the first time, and you just, you met them, like, right after they just finished puking. Like, that's the worst oh, possible I, time to meet them. Well, I was going to say if you met them right after they just got done beating their child. Wow. Yeah. You know, just yeah. some real <laughs> depressing I shit. Mean, I mean, I, you see them I in the puke, worst possible okay. light. But really, it's not the game company, like, it's not their fault. They're really, I mean, when they want to try, they can make a pretty good game. Oh, yeah. And I, I do slightly like this version of Burnside, a little bit more than the Tony Hawk one. There's just a bit more to it. Yeah, I mean, again, the Tony Hawk version, it's a competition, so you're really <laughs> only in there for a minute, you know, mm. a few minutes. And also, Grind Session's slower-paced, so Tony Hawk, you're just flying around. Though... 
Tony Hawk does have the cool gaps, you know? You hit a sick gap and it's like, you get that blue text yeah, and that, that extra and that thousand points. Sound. Pa-ching. Yeah, it's really the sound effects, you know? But does yeah. it have the, the wiki wiki when you switch, like, menu things on this game? Mm. The record scratches? It does not, but it should. That would have been sick. <laughs> Combine the best aspects of both games. Yeah, dude! Make yeah. Tony Hawk's grind sessions! <laughs> just make a... I mean, it's... I think it's time for someone to just make the greatest extreme sports game of all time that will just bury the franchise... Uh, bury every franchise. Bury all... Like, the entire genre. So, like, Jeez. nobody could just... Nobody could make one afterwards. They'd be like, well, there's no point. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh... I saw it on... I cannot remember the exact video. I'm trying to search for it right now. But, uh... I saw some other guy's video on Grind Session. And, God, it's an uh, old-school band. I guess I can give him a shout-out. Yeah. He has, like, no subs. But My he had boy. a video on Grind... He had a video on Grind Session which pointed out kind of... Kind of the reason there really wasn't that much competition after a while for, like, Tony Hawk, which is that Activision and Eversoft would just buy up other companies like Shaba Games. Yeah. And get them to stop working on those projects and get them working on Tony Hawk stuff. Like, Shaba Games made this, got bought, and next thing they did was port Tony Hawk 3 back yeah. to the PlayStation 1. Like, they weren't allowed to make a skating competitor. Interesting. It's yeah. kind of crazy that... Extreme Sports was such a short fad that you had, like, a wave of games that were competition. And then everyone got bought out by, like, yeah. Z-Axis or Activision. That's amazing. I did not know yeah. that, actually. Or at least skating-wise. I mean, I guess Konami did their skating games for the PS2. No but, one was going to buy out Konami. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, those were kind of But I'm guessing well. Konami probably bought a couple people out. I cannot believe, I seriously cannot believe how good the soundtrack in this game is. Like, after coming off of Disa, like, imagine if these songs were in Disa. Oh, that would I, well, oh, Okay. Better. Like, like imagine, well, I mean, obviously, like, I mean, one's a kid's game, but I just love the idea of Woody doing, like, all those crazy tricks he does to Black Flag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Or what if, or what if Pigpen was doing, like, a, a, a Christ air to freaking spinning around? Yeah, we're comparing... We're comparing Black Flag to Lil Romeo. You know, that's like... Well, yeah. That's like, man, I wish Cartoon... I wish Cartoon Network would air, you know, like... Well, no, I, I wasn't I saying they were comparable, but it's just, like, it's <laughs> both skating games, and it's like you play the one. Like, I, that was the last video I remember really being on, and I was like, damn. Oh, dude, we should do, like, a thing where we switch game soundtracks, okay? Well, that's what I, that's sort of what I was building towards. Like, just yeah, put this soundtrack sick... in Disa, put Disa soundtrack yeah. in this. <laughs> I want to see this dude skate around Lil' Romeo. That'd be hilarious. Lil' Romeo. Yeah. Ugh, God. Yeah. I'm uh, thinking about Little Romeo now. You know, no, while we're at it, if we're gonna switch soundtracks, we should also like do a thing where we switch um, artists' names. Like, if their first name is Neil, we should switch their last name, and then they <laughs> should have to perform the other music. Because I really want to see Neil Young swing, see, sing "Sweet Caroline." I really want to <laughs> see that happen. And I want to see know, Neil been, Diamond I... sing uh, "Keep on Rocking in the Free World." I would see, pay I was, money to uh... see that. I was I was actually talking to my old roommate, not not Connor, a different roommate, um, <laughs> about uh, about this like with actors. Like imagine the roles played by Kevin James being played by Kevin Costner, or Kevin, and vice uh, versa. Was this uh, was this Alan? No, that was Griff. Okay, because I was gonna say like I'll, I've never gotten you know, more than three words out of Alan. Yeah, I was gonna say like <laughs> whoa 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 he. You got like, Alan to speak? No, I never. <laughs> I got Alan to, to speak that one time I mentioned I owned a bicycle. He went oh, and then that was it. But <laughs> yeah, the Yolo Alan. He's a he's a quiet one. Yeah, he uh, likes bicycles. Yeah, that's the key to his heart. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like ha how half the DJ and Cedric mashups happened. That's true. <laughs> the other the other half were were us just like coming up with stupid ideas. Ugh. Nice. I should, stop. I should stop mentioning it if I want to actually retire it. Yeah, you should. Really bash is that skateboard. <laughs> yeah. I, I did so good. Oh man, look at that sick like this. tattooed knuckles. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Logo. Oh, I love this game. Also, you gotta cross your arms to 
have the thumbs work out like that. Yeah. That's what makes it real cool. Slam City Jam. Sl yeah, we're heading to Slam City next time. Are to we get hell slammed. Yeah. Oh, snap. I'll see uh, I'll see you in the skate park, brother. Yeah, we've had a few <laughs> good challenge levels, but like all good games of the time, it's time to go to a competition level. I thought you were going to say a bad level. <laughs> Cuz you said we got a good good Challenge levels. Oh, no, oh I see. No, yeah. no, no, I was emphasizing a the, different part, that of, part of the sentence. Okay. Yeah, yeah, next time we'll head to Slam City Jam. I'll see you later, my Slam Bros. Uh -huh. That's your new names now. Oh. Whoa. I'm ready. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this.